And here we are for the final match in our draft. This looks like a good opener. Would love to be on the play with this hand, but we'll take it. <coughs> Point going to six helps some. Turn one nerd ape, sure. We get punished a bit if I try to go the long route against this. I, I think whatever I do, I want the Voltaic Brawler in play. If they've got a removal spell, we can slow down a little bit, but they currently don't have attack with the have an attack with the apprentice without some sort of combat trick. I'd also very much like to get to the point where I can cast two spells in a turn. Well, I can certainly do that next turn, whatever I do here, uh, provided we're not dead. So let's say I attack and spend the energy. They block, and I pyrohelix it in response. Because I want this dead. I think what I may need to do is nature's way this out of the way, get an attack in, and then next turn look at copter pyrohelix to take out the grubs and just basically hope they don't have any energy for it. Because taking that guy out is a pretty big game for us right now. It shrinks their nerd ape. We'll spend some energy, sure. Like, they only get to attack with the Grubs. Grubs is turned off next turn. Okay. I may actually need... Well, I don't want to trade for that when we've got the Copter. I also don't want to fall entirely behind... I probably need to just accept that we're on the draw. Yeah, the opponent has one card in hand. If I don't trade with this, we're going to end up um, dead with a bunch of cards in hand. And that's just not a good place to be. So we can kill this, get the copter going, attack and or block with it next turn with the renegade. Like, there's just there's no reason for this to sp spiral out of control for us when the opponent's on one card. probably need to block like the neat thing is they can't keep me from blocking with the copter and getting one loot out of it's probably just fine when everything I draw for the rest of the game is going to have haste the only way this goes poorly is if they main phase remove the Aether Torch Renegade not saying that that couldn't happen we're up against a very fast deck but I suppose instant speed removal for the copter is pretty bad, too. But I, I just want to not die. Build Smash, sure. Can cycle our hand and deal two. I think I'd rather hold some lands and do that. I'm going to take this out now, and we're going to sit. And we're going to top deck. And I think we're going to be pretty happy about it. They have more grubs, they can't play them. We can play the 
uh, three three and attack with it, and we can hold extra lands to potentially burn that out of the way later, unless we hit edge crafters, in which case we can just play it. He looks for two. Okay. It's not good. But it's alright. If I need to burn a nerd ape, we'll burn a nerd ape. That's a fairly reasonable solution to the problems we're having here. We start hitting for four. We've got another blocker they got to get out of the way. I don't want to give it haste. So I'll just hit for four. It also makes impeccable timing not work. Now, the downside is they draw an artifact. All of a sudden, we're in a little bit of trouble, but... I think we just jam the edge crafters here, as that should finish the game. This leaves him dead a couple ways. Okay, so we mainly just want to survive the early game against this opponent. This is a deck I just don't want Wildest Dreams in. It, it, it doesn't do anything. Like, it's a decent top deck, but so is everything else. Especially if I'm going on the draw. I just can't afford to have something like that in an opener. Um, there's not much better for us, but I think I can play a Spark of Creativity and probably count on it killing something small, or at least cycling which is fine. So I think I'm more interested in that effect than this one. Because we've got like two big things that we can slam and just stop most of their attacks. We need to just not get run over. Our game plan may change a little bit when we're on the play, but that's not what's happening here. All right, we can keep this. We'd love a two drop uh, that, that, that can actually block. All right. We can handle a nerd ape. I think they've got the 2 1 guy, and I think I probably just have to burn it. Yeah. Yeah, we just need to stay alive for a little bit here. Let's just get that off the table. They may have energy to use it with something else later, but I've, I've got to just. They win by dealing me a lot of damage in the early game. If I can keep them from doing that, then we win. So Infiltrator's a bit risky here. Why is Infiltrator a bit risky here, Travis? I suppose it's not terribly risky, but if they Pyra Helix it and we whiff on lands, we're pretty sad. That said, we're relatively likely to draw lands, and they're like Pyra Helixing the beat for one point of damage. I feel like they probably scoop to a Pima Outrider. With Appetite, I don't think I block that. Yeah, I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I may be able to get him to play something else and attack with both. Because we're hurting now. This is bad if they play a... Uh, planes and have something like built built to last to cast on it. What I'm hoping is they play another creature, crew it, and attack with both. Because then we can block that and this. All right, we'll take this trade. All right, let's get you out of here. And let's hit them lands. I 
I think we take the uh, counter on the first one and the servo on the second one. Because this means they can't just welding sparks it down. Does that change my play to maybe Renegade, Copter, Pass? And we can hold lands after that? I think it might. Like, I've got just strong blocks on both of their creatures here. You can even consider attacking here to see if they want to double block. The only downside is they could have a built to smash, and that would be not great. But I suppose even then we block this guy and block here, so they've got to choose to force damage. Hijack? I mean, again, not ideal, but we can survive it. Dumping a double white card is probably a good thing for us. I have a feeling we're going to dump that elegant edge crafters. I suppose we should attack first. Because I'm going to hit with the copter. And if I draw a land, I might just want to land that edge crafters. And discard the outrider. That makes me feel pretty safe. I don't want to discard the Welding Sparks. Because, like, once I land this, we can start attacking with both. Use Welding Sparks if they go for a double block. If the Copter survives, this is fine. I could also make the 5-6. That's really only bad if they're playing more... Um, hijacks because it's just a you can't block it wall the servos are so safe though like if we're hitting for six a turn it's going to take one two three hits if we're hitting for eight a turn it takes two hits all right I don't want to leave up welding sparks. Could also just attack with this. Like if I'd made the servos, then all of a sudden I can welding sparks that out of the way and we're not worried, but I didn't do that and we can't. So maybe I have to hit for three. If with them at 13, I can't kill them next turn. What am I doing with that? Blocking it? Man, I wish I had those servos right now. Of course, I guess we're still three turns off from killing them either way. Do I really want their ability up here? Or do I want to see what I draw? I think I'd rather see what I draw. Hellion. It's not really what I'm after. I mean, the 4-4 is cute. It does give me two energy for this guy, but you've got to get him up to eight. 
It lets me leave up welding sparks, which is really attractive. But I just, I don't think that's the droid I'm looking for right now. We'll hold extra lands from here because we took out the rebuy spell. Like another artifact would be pretty good as we can clear this guy. That's not particularly good. So we swing with this, they take five, six, seven, eight, still not dead. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep riding this copter. Stop hitting my copter. Welding Sparks is doing three, four, five. So even if I sparks one of their guys in response, we don't stop it. All right. That may mean I have to go on the edge crafter plan. What's the edge crafter plan, Travis? Hit them with this and then look at sparksing this, trading damage with the burn deck. I don't like it, but it kills them in three turns and I do want them dead. Like the fact that we know they're running uh, Built to Smash as one of their cards means we could block these they go for the trick and we get them. Okay, well, I'm glad we attacked with it now. Spark does at least cycle. I don't have anything else that can kill this, right? Like we've got our own Mastodon is the only thing that could kill that. So I should probably just point it here. Salivating gremlins. Would I rather draw would I rather have this in play or have that dead? I guess the, the thought was I could combo to kill this, right? Yeah, maybe I should have done that so that I could use welding sparks in this in conjunction with it to kill that. But since I didn't, then yeah, I'd like that to be dead. How am I getting through that Mastodon? Drawing a second Sparks? This is not ideal. They're not going to attack until they can give it Vigilance and have their trick up. So do I want a 4-4? Four, four? I guess I want a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, we're holding lands for the showdown at this point, so no point playing any of those. I guess they've also got to be scared about potential uh, Vigilance shenanigans or haste shenanigans and with them at eight and this doing six like that may be an option to just get the energy there's some of it so we're one energy off from just sixing them I like that Nature's Way do anything currently? I don't think so. Like clearing one of their little things just doesn't matter. I guess we could Nature's Way here and then ping it. Yeah, that actually seems pretty good. 
The downside is if they kill our dude in response. I, I don't think they can do that, but we will see. Inspired charge, okay. Well, if I just welding sparks it, we're safe. And it's dead. We end up two for twoing with them, but the thing we were worried about is gone. And I think most of their hope of killing us is gone too. Because they kind of have to trade off with some of these dudes now if we swing in. Hitting lands is not great. So I swing here, they trade. I swing here. They can't trade with both, but I'm left with a pretty miserable blocking force. Are we supposed to just stare into one of us top decks? Like if the Gremlins is gone, I've got good attacks with my 1-2. The only thing they have that can trade with this is this guy or the gremlins. I think we can go with the brawler. We're just getting off of the energy plan for this dude. I'd love to have hit a creature, but I guess the, the artist is a little more favorable for us. But if we trade this with the gremlins, I think we're all right. then we can start attacking with the Seed Sculptor as well as the 4-4 four four and slowly grind this out. Well, you get a Scry, but you don't get much else because he's going to die. They went top top. I feel like we need hits. We got one ping left. We don't get a ping if I play this out this way, but I think I can potentially attack with these two. The thing is I can make a 4-4 trample and send this and that. The problem is then I don't have pings and I don't know what they kept. What's the advantage of doing that? It's, it's a lethal attack they have to block. They could chump and trade with this. And I feel like them having less of a board is probably good for us. The other option is just to attack here and see if they want to trade or take it. Then play a 3-3 and a 1-1 so we could gang block that. I kind of don't hate that. So if they take it, we're getting close to showdown killing them. I didn't cast that yet, did I? It'd be silly if my whole game plan is around that. Yeah, I, th I think I like seeing if we can sneak in some damage here. If they trade it off for the door buster, we'll still at least be able to block. And I'm going to go for the servo. It means I can basically attack with the team. I, I don't know what they've drawn. The fact that they scribed two things to the top is just legitimately terrifying. No, oh, they don't want to play anymore. Well, that's a shame. They did scry top top, didn't they? I thought they did. Oh, I meant to go back to the, the game. Huh. Well, uh, kind of an anticlimactic conclusion, but there we go. We got our two-in-one in our pack. Definitely appreciate you guys and gals tuning in. I'll be looking for you here next week on seemsgoodmagic.com. 
and you can always catch the stream if you would like at twitch.tv simulan. Have a good Monday, my friends. We'll see you next week.